U.S. Debbie gets closer to the Grand Strand, communities like Merrill's Inlet are beginning to feel the impacts. Yeah, News 13 crews have been there all day, and Adriana Lawrence tells us what she saw and how people are preparing. I'm at Merrill's Inlet Garden City Fire Rescue's headquarters because the rain has been ongoing this evening. For a few hours, the sun came out, but as the night went on, the rain and wind started to pick up. Small streets like Wachasaw Road and Causey Road saw flooding after morning showers passed, but that didn't stop folks from driving on through. Over to the Marsh Walk parking lots were flooded as well. Restaurants like Claw House and Dead Dog were closed, making the area less busy than a usual summer Tuesday. Hayden Bros lives in Merle's Inlet and says he and his family have been somewhat preparing for the storm, but have some worries. Uh, mostly, you know, flooding. We, we have a rental second row from the beach, and we don't want to have to go down there and replace stuff. It gets real expensive real quick with salt water. And you may remember we told you about the ornament of the inlet sailboat that washed up during Hurricane Ian after an anchor got loose in 2022, but was removed back in May. Now the owner, Asher Robinson, has another sailboat anchored in the inlet ahead of Debbie. He tells me he's taking measures to make sure his second sailboat doesn't end up like his first one did two years ago. Hopefully that I do better this go around, seeing that uh, I've had a little bit of experience doing this. We'll see if I ride this one out right. Yeah. There definitely is an art to anchoring, I'm trying to learn. There's a learning curve. The fire department also tells us they're preparing crews and equipment to serve the community during Debbie. In Merle's Inlet, Adriana Lawrence, News 13.